Hey guys, Peter from Giordano's Gift and Garden, uh, coming to you from beautiful Seacliff, New York. And today I wanted to talk about Botrytis blight, also known as gray mold. Here I have a geranium with early stages of gray mold, and it's because geraniums are one of our most popular annuals, and because gray mold is one of the most popular funguses, I thought it was a good idea to do a video. So in this video, I'm gonna show how to spot it, how to prevent it, and ultimately how to treat it, okay? So if you can look here, blight has started to creep into this geranium. This is early stage uh, blight. You can see the yellow, the yellowing of the leaf with circular black spots. Okay, hopefully that's focusing. <laughs> and you can also tell something is wrong with this plant because it wants to bloom, but it can't. And often when, it, especially with annuals, because their energy is limited, if they're spending a lot of their energy in their immune system trying to fight off a disease, they won't have extra energy to throw off blooms. So if you have an annual that's not blooming, that should be, if you examine it nine times out of 10, assuming it's getting enough water and light, it most likely has a disease. Okay, so we've spotted early stage blight with the yellowing, with the brown circles. And I really quickly, before I tell you how to get rid of it, I wanna tell you how to prevent it in the first place, right? Um, now, if, if, this, if these blight spots remain untreated, they will actually turn into a gray, hence the gray mold, and become dusty almost, and it will really overtake the entire plant. So it's important that we catch it early. Now, blight thrives in humidity, uh, like very humid weather, damp areas, um, and areas where there isn't a lot of air circulation in the plant, right? So if you're finding yourself having a lot of blight or gray mold on your plants. I would definitely suggest watering less, you know, having less moisture, watering in the morning, which gives the plant time uh, to evaporate any excess water throughout the heat of the day, and spacing plants out a little bit more, making sure air can come in between the plants, through the plants, okay? Now, if you have it, here's how you get rid of it. The first thing you wanna do is because it's only impacting a few leaves here, we wanna take garden shears and prune off each leaf with blight, even if it's just a little bit, because it is contagious and it will, once, it, once impacted on a leaf, um, that leaf is pretty much gone, unfortunately. So take some gardening shears, cut off any impacted leaves that have blight or gray mold, um, and then once that's done, we want to apply a fungicide to the plant to make sure the rest of the plant can remain vigorous and healthy. If you can catch blight early, like we did here, you can go ahead and use a copper-based fungicide. We do sell them here at Giordano's. This is perfect for early stage blight and if um, gray mold has impacted something you're gonna eat one day, like a tomato, because it is organic, okay? Now, if if the leaves have turned from yellow with brown spots and it started to gray already, you're most likely in medium or late stage blight, and you're going to need something a little bit more powerful. You're gonna need chlorophalanil, which we also sell here, and this will also protect the rest of the plants. Okay, so that's how you spot blight. You prevent it by, well, you can't fight the humidity, but having a lot of space between plants, watering in the morning, maybe watering a little bit less, and try, and if one particular plant is um, constantly getting blight, try moving them into more sunlight, that usually helps. And lastly, you just wanna cut off the affected leaves and then apply one of the two fungicides we have here in the store to, prevent, uh, to protect the rest of the plant. The good news is if you catch blight early, there is a high um, success rate for keeping the plant alive. And one thing you do want to keep in mind before I go is blight can survive on fallen leaves. So sometimes we get customers who it's September, it's an annual, they start to see a little bit of gray mold and they go, you know what, this plant was going to die next month anyway, I'm just going to leave it. You'd think that's fine, however, when, these, when this plant loses its leaves and dies, it can actually, the fungus can stay alive on the dead leaves for a bit and spread to other parts of your garden. So it's really important to catch it early and to eradicate it to protect not just the impacted plants, but the rest of your garden as well.